Despite the fact that we're not even two weeks into the regular season, the Boston Celtics are resembling heavy 2025 title favorites. Tied with the team they took out in five games in 2024's second round being the Cleveland Cavaliers for the best record in the association, the Celtics remain undefeated. With wins over the Knicks, Wizards, Pistons, and Bucks, Boston's on pace to break their all-time offensive rating record set in 23-24. Every team will have their off nights over the course of a seven-month long season, but with how nasty this 24-25 Celtic team is looking, it doesn't seem like anyone can beat them. Stay tuned for everything you need to know about the Celtics right now. Right quick, over 77% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow at Hoops on Instagram and X for a follow back. Thank you for your support, you're tremendously appreciated. Al Horford kicked off the night reintroducing himself to his old friend Giannis Antetokounmpo by sticking with his spin move and denying his layup attempt, which led to White getting a fast break hoop on the other end. On an off night shooting the basketball for the Eastern Conference Player of the Week, Jason Tatum, who still to be fair led the game in plus minus, Jalen Brown led the way for the Celtics with 30 points. It was JB's first 30 point game of the season, and he's now averaging 26 points per game after the season's first four outings. He did a great job of getting to the foul line as he shot 14 free throws in this one, but Brown got it going in the second half from the mid-range area before he got the defense onto him enough to the point where he could start showing off his improved muscle by slashing to the bucket. Generally, it was how Brown was mixing up slashes with middies while splicing in the odd kickout that kept the defense off balance. He finished the game shooting an efficient 10 for 19 from the field. Meanwhile, against his former team that shipped him to Portland in exchange for Lillard before the Celtics acquired him for Robert Williams III and Malcolm Brogdon, Drew Holiday poured in a Celtic third-most 21 points while knocking down a Boston second-most four three-pointers. Drew even buckled down to hold a man he won a title next to in 2021 and Giannis in check in the post before drawing the charge. You can't forget about the under one minute sequence from the bald Mamba Derek White. D. White hit a three over Giannis, locked up a Bobby Portis post fade, got the switch onto Portis and hit another triple, then rotated from Dame onto Giannis for the denial of a Dedekumpo. This got the TD Garden rocking and was a massive momentum booster. Derek also dropped a game most eight assists in this one. But there was one Celtic who was warmed up more than anyone else, quantifying how pure of a hooper he is. When Peyton and his wife Emma took their dog for a walk, this video was posted of Peyton taking the opportunity to polish his skills with a random kid. Pritchard spoke on the competition by saying, they were actually pretty good. Little scrappy kids getting after it. I definitely appreciated it. I was talking a little bit. These kids saw me from afar. I ended up going over there. We were just messing around playing one on one. I felt like a kid again. Using the extra rhythm to his advantage, Pritchard proved the point I made in my last Warriors video about Buddy Heald being a shoe in for sixth man of the year if he stays healthy to be wrong, as in his first three minutes of action off the bench alone, he scored eight points. Peyton immediately topped that by scoring another eight points in under a two minute span during the second quarter, as this man's microwave scoring prowess is actually insane. Peyton then hit a shot from the TD Garden logo, a shot that was officially a 25 foot deep range bomb. And with six and a half left in the third quarter, as he always does with the game clock winding down in a quarter, Pritchard would turn into prime MJ and LeBron. This is his time. Pritchard fires. Oh! Pritchard magic! Ultimately, Peyton finished with 28 of the Celtics' 30 bench points, and that scoring was generated on an unheard of 100% true shooting clip. On the season, despite coming off the bench, Pritch leads the Celtics in three pointers made, and he's making 50% of those triples. Despite being thought of as a role player, Given he scored more points after four games than all-star Tyrese Halliburton, it's maybe time to start considering Peyton as a breakout star. Specifically among bench players, Peyton's the league leader among all of them in points and of course threes. I think I mentioned this in the preseason, but the fact that Peyton's breaking out in his fifth year is utterly terrifying for opponents given how much firepower is already in place for this Celtic team. Quite frankly, Pritch looks like he's ready to take that next step. He's an unconscious sniper with a killer instinct whose range, finesse, and fundamentals are as good as anyone in basketball at the moment. Jalen Brown, Joe Mazzula, and Doc Rivers each had some great takes on Pritchard postgame. And Peyton, when he does, before, so, you know, you know, Peyton, he's, 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 he's,
Peyton is, you know, he's a killer, you know, and uh, he's always looking to, to uh, put pressure on the defense. And if you, if you don't pay attention to him, if you don't guard him, he'll light you up. Um, and we just played through him tonight. Um, tonight he got some great looks, 12 three-point attempts up. Uh, we, we love that, you know, and when Sam comes back, we want him to do the same thing, get those open threes. Those are two of the best shooters in the league. Um, so we want to keep finding those opportunities for them. Thing that stands out to you about him that you particularly enjoy? Uh, his competitive nature, I think, is number one. Uh, I think just his ability to uh, just go in and out of different roles. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't care with the circumstance to some kind. He doesn't give really two shits about anything other than just competing at the highest level. So that to me is uh, just a he's a purest uh, competitor. So I really uh, appreciate that. About Joe Peyton Pritchard, twenty eight points. Yeah. So what? What happened there? Was, was How was he able to make that much of a difference? Uh, Peyton Pritchard happened. No, honestly, it's, it's so funny. It's, it's not. Uh, but this morning, I, I literally circled his name. I was like, this guy comes in and he's the game changer. I don't know if you remember last year, we had a six-point lead. And he came in and changed the, the, the whole game. He did it again tonight. Uh, and he got their three ball going because uh, we had kept him off the three line for the most part. We liked, We loved how we were defending, channeling them inside. We just didn't think they could make enough twos. But when you do that and you give up some layups, you cannot give up threes. And I thought in the, he started, and then in the third or in the early fourth, they got, got loose with three-point shots, and that hurt us. I thought that changed the game. Let's not forget about Jordan Walsh, who played a part in this Boston victory, too. On this play, you're watching him lock down Giannis to force a travel. Jalen Brown had this to say about Jordan. I thought Jordan played great. His minutes was... Uh was exceptional for our team. You know, we made some big time um, offensive rebounds and you know, also, uh, you know, had some big defensive possessions, but credit to him being ready. Um, big game, big moment for a young player. Um, playing against a, a potential playoff team matchup, I thought he had it and contributed to us getting the win tonight. This win for the Celtics came despite the refs giving the Bucks the benefit of the doubt, as Milwaukee shot 31 free throws to the Celtics' 19 attempts. Even though lean-in contact fouls were ruled illegal in 2021, Dame was getting calls like the one on your screen. Just blasphemous. Let me know your take on Boston down below. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.